hello beautiful family welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning into this video it's your favorite recipe plug and i am back with another very delicious recipe for you guys okay this is a one pot potato and chicken with coconut milk and it's very yummy you can have this for dinner or you can have this for brunch or any other light event which you are hosting so without any further ado let's get right into it For this recipe, you're going to need some chicken, fresh tomatoes, Irish potatoes. My Irish potatoes have already been peeled and washed. You're also going to need some coconut milk, green bell pepper, onion, carrot, leeks. I'm using just leeks for this. If you have spring onions, you can use spring onions as well. Some salt and seasoning, vegetable oil, and this green marinade, which I already have on my channel. You want to check out how I made this green marinade, okay? So these are all the ingredients, and I'm going to be dropping them in the description box. Begin by adding your chicken into a pot, after which you're going to add in your green marinade, and then go in with a drizzle of water. Note that my chicken had already been seasoned with salt and seasoning earlier, so that it can absorb it. And then I'm going to just go ahead now and add in the potatoes at this point. So you want to make sure that the chicken and the potatoes are steaming together, okay? After adding the potatoes and giving that a good mix, you are going to go in with some more seasoning cubes and some water. Add the water into the pot just up to half of the pot. You don't want the water to cover the potatoes because you want it to steam and you don't want it to overcook, okay? So you are going to let the chicken and the potatoes cook for about 15 minutes. After which you're going to take out the potatoes and the chicken. You don't want the potatoes to be soggy. You don't want it to be soft, okay? At this point, the chicken and the potatoes are half cooked. So you're going to take out the chicken and the potatoes and place them in two separate bowls, okay? Be sure to keep the chicken stock because you're going to need that later on. Now in the same pot, you're going to add in some vegetable oil in which you're going to deep fry your potatoes first and then later on you're going to deep fry the chicken. If you have watched the video up to this point, I want to say a very big thank you to you. And if you're new on my channel, I would strongly advise that you click the subscribe button down below so that you can be notified every time I upload new recipes, okay? Also, you need to join this very amazing family so that you don't miss out on all the deliciousness that goes on here. And if you have any comments, leave your comments in the comment section. I'll be glad to respond to them. So guys, I must mention that deep frying your potatoes is a very essential part of this process, okay? You want to deep fry the potatoes just to give it a crunchy outer texture and a soft inner texture, okay? Now go ahead to fry your chicken in the same oil and you want to fry this chicken until it is golden brown. You don't need the chicken to be too dry, okay?
when you're done frying your chicken you can take it out and place it aside and then proceed to the next step so you're going to reduce some of the oil and in the same pan you're going to saute some onions saute some leeks you're you're adding in just half of the leeks at this point guys you're not adding all the leeks okay and then you're going to give that a good mix after which you're going to go in with your fresh tomatoes Next, you want to go in with the remainder of your green seasoning at this point and give it a good mix. And then you're going to go in with the chicken stock, half of the chicken stock at this point, okay? Allow that to simmer for a few minutes and then you're going to proceed to adding in your coconut meal. Give that a very good mix and allow everything to combine nicely guys this recipe is so delicious the introduction of this coconut milk into this dish just takes it to a whole other level now i'm adding in some seasoning because i tasted it and it was not quite sweet so i had to go in with one cube so be sure to check your seasoning while cooking okay so allow the coconut milk to boil on up to about eight minutes until it thickens and then you can go ahead to add in your chicken pieces after which you're going to go in with the potatoes okay After adding the potato, you're going to give that a very good mix and then proceed to adding in the rest of your chicken stock and then you can go in with your vegetables. Note that I have not added any water into this dish. I'm using just the coconut milk and the chicken seasoning. Just go in and add your carrots, add your green bell peppers and add the remaining leeks and then give that a very good mix to combine it and allow it to simmer on low heat for about 10 minutes and then your dish is ready i also decided to go in with some vegetable oil at the end because i noticed that my dish was a little bit um dry so i had to go in with some vegetable oil just to give it that shiny and delicious looking finish okay Thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked this video. Hope you learned something new from this video. If it's your first time on my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please click the like button. Share your comments in the comment section. And I'll love to see you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Love you all and remain blessed. Bye.